Welcome back guys. Today we are going to talk about the, the ultimate Raspberry Pi. And I'm not talking about the software this time. Not, not as the Raspberry Pi solar sys and the, the, the solar image that I did earlier. If you haven't seen that before, check out my video down below where I have linked it in. No, because Andreas Spice did release a video the other day that is perfect when it comes to the software itself for the Raspberry. So I'm going to leave the software and actually use his setup in terms of the software as a base. With that said, we need to add a couple of components, uh, especially the Solar Sys, and we need to add a Watchmon UDP listener and some other stuff also. But nevertheless, we're going to talk about the hardware today. What do you guys think is the best hardware or the accessories to the Raspberry Pi in terms of adding in terms of adding value. And if you have any comments, don't forget to comment down below because your comment is what will bring it to the next video where we actually build the ultimate Raspberry Pi. If you want a special case, mention that. If you want battery or a power supply or external stuff, mention that down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the like up as well. Now, let's head over and check out the hardware itself. So guys, in front of you, I have a couple of components that I think are essential. First of all, of course, we need a Raspberry Pi. And as you can see, this is, this is a really old one. And I would consider the actual go-to Raspberry Pi today for the ultimate home automation system should be the Raspberry Pi 4 with two or four gigabyte of RAM. What do you guys think? Put a comment down below and let me know. So let's talk a little bit about accessories. The first one that we're going to talk about is the SD card. This is a rather cheap SD card. Do you think we should go with the cheap option and use the logging in the RAM and disable as much of the rights as possible to the SD card? Or should we go for a more expensive SD card? Or should we go all the way up and add ourselves an MSATA SSD shield to the Raspberry Pi. That makes it possible to take the Raspberry Pi and attach it to the bottom like so. Not on the Raspberry Pi, this old one, but on the Raspberry Pi version 3 and 4, this works really, really good. This also makes it possible to use faster drives, since this one on the Raspberry Pi 4 will utilize the full USB bridge. What do you think about this? Do you think we should start with this one? Next, next thing that I think is really, really good, and that's this little box here. Let me get it out for you. This box here consists of the POE hat for the Raspberry Pi. And this potentially makes it possible to run the Raspberry Pi over Ethernet with power injection. Do you think that is a must for the ultimate hardware for the Raspberry Pi? I mean, if you have power over Ethernet available on your switch and you have the cable very close, I think this is a really, really good substitute. And I have this running on several of my Raspberry Pis at home. What do you guys think? Put the comment down below in the comment section and let me know what you think about it. The next one, of course, is this one here, the RPI power pack that comes with a lithium ion battery. This potentially can support the Raspberry Pi, depending on load, of course, for, I would say, 10 hours or so. Using this one in conjunction with the PoE could be very, very tricky because they potentially yeah, outdates each other a little bit. So I'm not sure how you could potentially use them in conjunction with each other. Let me know if that's a must or not. What do you guys think? Is it okay with running wireless and the power pipe like this one? Or should we go PoE instead? And of course, when it comes to Raspberry Pi, you can add many other things that is really cool and good to have. Like RGB LEDs, like this one here that potentially makes it possible for you to easily see what's going on, like quick status of the Raspberry Pi, disk space or connection status or other things like that. With that said, those 
cameras like this one here with a PIR sensor or PIR uh, diodes itself makes it possible to make this ultimate Raspberry Pi into a camera server as well. This is really easy to make that functioning. You could use it for your home automatization and at the same time have it to actually film your hardware or your battery bank that you have ongoing. What do you guys think of that? So guys, I'm not going to take anything away from Andreas because he did a really, really good job on the software part itself. And I really like his videos. If you don't know who I'm talking about, check out the links down below and you will see exactly what that's all about. But in my video, we are going to discuss and do something with the hardware itself to make sure that the Raspberry Pi is the ultimate tool and, I don't know, monitoring system for your home automation solar system. So don't forget to comment if you haven't subscribed already because you need to know when the next video is out. Press the subscribe button, press the bell button, a thumbs up if you like this idea and see you in the next video that will come very very soon because frankly I already start to build my ultimate Raspberry Pi. The question is, will that be the same as your comments down below? Thanks again. Bye. See you next time.